love textiles and I want the information, my knowledge and enthusiasm to be passed on. Reclothing the future, which is rethinking our relationship with clothing. I'm really passionate about changing our relationship with clothing because it's really damaging to the environment. And people don't know how and they don't know why, so let's tell them. We are Advanced Clothing Solutions and we historically started from renting men's higher wear kilts in Scotland and that expanded into formal wear like tailcoats and so forth and that was primarily for the wedding market. The company had got bigger over the years then we started looking at different places that could use different styles of rental and from these things there's a, a big push for this being sustainable. The idea that you can have a changing look without a linear buy, use, wear bin model. The idea that a garment will be produced and you utilise it more by renting it. We started by looking at an education programme, so we rolled out workshops at schools. Then the next phase we decided, let's bring the young people into industry. So enough of the schools, let's bring them in and they can actually experience sustainable fashion at first hand. So actually see somebody renewing a garment and what that would look like, you know, in terms of repair, in terms of cleaning it. Let's show them the rental model. Let's give them a tour of a facility so they can experience it. We're trying to push sustainable fashion and say there is hope, there is a different model. And that's what ACS is all about. Prolonging the life of garments means that maybe 60 people could use the same garment. But what's wrong with that if it always looks new? So we looked at the environmental cost of producing clothes. That's the pollution, which is 70 to 20 percent of the global water pollution is from fashion. The um, microfibers from washing synthetic clothes, which are even under the Arctic ice right now. Um, and it's gone everywhere. We looked at slavery and cotton production, the amount of water and uh, droughts as a result of cotton production, but talked about alternatives. The fact that synthetic clothes can't be um, recycled. You can make clothing out of plastic bottles, but you can't make clothing out of clothing, which is really important because people think that plastic can be recycled, but re plastic clothing can't be. One of the initiatives is My Fashion Path, an awareness and engagement campaign around sustainable fashion and the impact the fashion industry has on the climate. My Climate Path offers a breadth of activities to demonstrate the legacy that COP26 brings to young people and their careers in green and circular roles across all industries. Sustainable Fashion Scotland is a community-led social enterprise and our main aim is to connect the fashion community in Scotland and help accelerate collective action. Think about the issues that we have within sustainability, specifically the three P's for people, planet and we use prosperity for it instead of profit. Yeah, when they opened their packs, they were like, oh, wow. And when they got to take their packs away with them, everything they had done, they were like, this is amazing. Some of the students were really, really good. And um, some of them actually knew how to sew a wee bit. But even the ones that were experienced, I thought they don't know how to do a backstitch and how properly to put on a button. Um, so they were quite shocked and I, I was quite shocked as well that they actually know how to sew, to hand sew, so it's been fun. During COP26, I taught a series of workshops on simple repairs. We looked at how to mend a hole in a garment using a backstitch and how to sew in a button. 
We teach sewing courses and workshops um, with a focus on sustainable making practices and particularly zero waste design. I'm really passionate about teaching people how to make their own clothes, clothes that kind of fit their body um, and make them feel good about themselves um, and kind of enables their creativity. It's a way of approaching fashion that's not a, like standard because like, a dress doesn't necessarily stay a dress. You could turn it into a bag or you can turn it into a duvet or you know <laughs> a patchwork quilt. You know, can it's actually think and giving them the uh, skills to be able to do that. Seventy-three percent of garments end up in landfill. There were lots of ideas about what people can do and at the end there was a bit of discussion time. So hopefully people left thinking, wow, what can I do? Or what should I consider? And if some of that was received, then that was great. <laughs>